Hey y'all, so in today's video I'm going to show you how I made a set of hexagonal shelves. I started with a 1x12x8 board of pine, which is really 11 and a quarter inches wide. I cut the board into three sections at 32 inches long. The miter saw works good with this, but you can also do this with a handsaw. Once I have my three boards, I then set my table saw to two and three quarters inch wide and then ripped as many strips as I could per board. I was able to get nine boards done, but I wanted to do 10, so I ended up using some scrap wood to make the rest. Now it was time to cut the angles. I set my miter saw to 30 degrees, which is optimal for the hexagonal shape. I used the 30 degrees on the miter to cut the edge of one board. The first piece is usually gonna take the longest once you get your measurements all set up, but after that, it flows pretty smoothly. The set I'm making is actually going to be used to hold desserts for a charcuterie table, so they don't have to be too big. So I started with 5 inch um, long sides, and this gave me a 4 and an eighth inch inside. Once I had that initial piece cut, I ended up using a stop lock with a clamp on the miter so I can make the same cut every single time. It makes the process go a lot quicker. Each hexagon shelf is going to need six pieces, so because they're 32 inch strips, there should be plenty of room left over to make these cuts. Once I had all the pieces cut out, I used 220 grit sandpaper to just sand the inside of the uh, hexagon shelves, and you'll see why later. Once I had them all sanded down, it was time to lay them out and start gluing them up. I laid them all out with the short side down so that I can use the painter's tape on the edges. Using the painter's tape, it'll actually give enough pressure for the glue to bond between the joints. Once all the tape is on, I'll go ahead and flip it over, and then I'll use extra painter's tape along the edges. That way, if there's any glue squeeze out, it doesn't soak into the wood and affect the stain. This isn't a necessary step, as you could sand it, but it does save a lot more time, so you're not sanding all day. I used type on 2 wood glue for this project. And I made sure that I didn't use too much glue that it squeezed out and got all over the inside of the shelves. But I didn't want to use too little because they are edge, edge joints and it soaks it up pretty good. So now it's time to roll the shelf into its shape. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory and the tape really provides a good pressure so that it doesn't break apart when you're rolling it. I finish off this part by adding a couple more pieces to that final joint. I made sure to wipe off any glue squeeze out prior to the glue setting so that the tape doesn't get stuck onto the wood. Okay. 
After a couple of hours, I go and take the tape off. And at this point, you could use a brad nailer and throw in some extra 16 gauge or 18 gauge brad nails to make sure that it stays together. But if you have a strong joint and strong glue up, you don't have to worry about that. Because we already sanded the inside of the box, we don't have to worry about doing that again. Plus, depending on what sander you're using, it won't fit in to the uh, small hexagonal shelves. So I just do the rims of the box and the outsides, you, again using 220 grit. The stain for this set is actually going to be Varathane's American Walnut, which has a more red tone and is, is exactly what the customer wanted. For any of the shelves, I always start on the inside. That way uh, my supporting hand has some place to grip without getting too dirty. And I always make sure to get the joints first and then wipe evenly between them. From there, I'll work the stain into the outside edges. Uh, that way my supporting hand can still hold the front and back sides without getting too dirty. Once those are done, it's time to do the front and the back sides, and I always make time to use an extra cloth to wipe off any excess so that it doesn't get too dark in some spots. Here you can see the final measurements of the long side, which is exactly 5 inches, and the inside uh, short side is actually 4 and an eighth inch, and then the total uh, long diameter of the box is actually 10 inches. Once the stain had plenty of time to set, it was time to put a final coat on it, a nice protective finish coat, which I like to use Minwax Polyacrylic in a clear satin. And you can adjust the glossiness depending on how many coats you put on it. And there you have it, a customizable set of hexagonal shelves. Hey, if you like this video, go and hit that like button for me, and if you want to see more like it in the future, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.